Hi Cancer, welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for being here and I hope that you are well. This is Sage Sunset. Like you feel, oh Cancer, wow. Your heart, Cancer, there's something about the way how you feel right now. I think that um, some some of you or someone I, maybe you have lost a connection with your heart space with your true heart space that's why I feel like someone either needs to just really dive into themselves really but I feel like someone is drifting away from a heart, they, like emptiness. I don't feel like it is doom, but I feel like it is pause, pause, like, like frozen, turned to stone. <laughs> oh my God, yes. Like when Medusa turns someone to stone, just like that kind of energy. And then, oh gosh, so I just feel like, because maybe you have, as if you have now decided to become the queen of defense, the stone woman. And your heart is inside that little place still, but it is distant from you. I feel like there are a lot of vines growing around your heart. This could be the cancer that is now focusing on money, but... The, I feel like your heart, there are a lot of vines growing around your heart. And it is in there, but your outer shell is so hard. It feels like it's about to crack, girl. Like, it's, it's becoming hollower, and your heart is in there. And your shell. Maybe it's a good place to be, because what I'm feeling is a fear of the sensation. And fear normally means that it, it could be what needs to be done for this shell to just crack and break for you to be vulnerable again for you to connect with your soft side really because you I feel you are hurting because you're not you're not melding what is that word that keeps coming up melding with your soft side intertwining loving appreciating all of you um and so your outer shell might crack i don't know what that means as if your your walls are just becoming thinner and thinner and you could just be sitting there and then one day you just crack just crack all over and then th turn to nothingness just crumble and <laughs> whoa look how it transforms and then I feel like after it after it crumbles off of you you're left with not there's nothing left but air but you I don't feel like you're dead I feel like you're free you're free you don't give up it's almost like I don't give a fuck really about any i'm alive you feel more alive because you feel you it's like the ideas and thoughts of other people yo sometimes man they come in and we take them as a part of our own and we try to build ourselves according to society's standards and how weak we may be and how vulnerable and but we, our, our hearts don't run out of love you know yes we have to become hard to build standards to be, be build a foundation right that's cool but now i feel like you've broke the shells it's maybe something that you didn't even see coming because it's been there's a power in you that is just igniting 
and so it's it thinned away the walls and then it shattered and you just just literally like gas just spread all over in the atmosphere and you realize that you're free to be everything because no ideas are holding you back and this is you really i feel connecting with your heart space i feel like this is where the journey begins when you now know you know nothing and so you take time to sit in contemplation with your heart space to feel to heal not for a purpose not for a reason not just be but just because sitting in this place doing this thing it could be something you do that is of fulfillment to you you do it just because doing it makes you feel it reminds you of freedom of having no walls really of exploration of not your mind not being bombarded and trapped and you having to have these defenses of rigidness you've let go you've released so walk barefooted grounded being grounded is key it's important your heads can be in the clouds, but it's important to remain grounded, solid. So now you're going to use the, the hurt or whatever from the past that caused you to be this really rigid con cancerian. Use it to have standards for yourself. Like, I am someone that likes to meditate. That could be a standard or a boundary that people could learn to respect about you. You can learn to respect and have discipline in. That helps to build you up. Establish you as a person. Even without trying to be, be identified as such. But just having these virtues that you live by. That gets you going and keeps you alive and reminds you that you're free and that you're all that you are all i'll catch you later in another video thank you so much for being a part of this journey remember that if the messages have, um resonate with you subscribe to my channel okay to keep updated and thank you so much for your support. I'll catch you next time. Much love to you. Remember that you can have anything that you want because all is within you. You are all.